Hello, I am Felipe Perez. I welcome you to my Felpers Technology Channel, where you will find a wide variety of tutorials regarding technology. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to filter as if you were filtering, but without applying the filter function every time you need to search for a different word. Like here, I need to filter a word, in this case, papel. Every word that I type will be considered. And I don't have to be filtering because it's already automatic. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. Let's start it. It has surely happened to you that you have, for example, an Excel file with a lot of information. And when you want to look for a word, service or product or whatever you have in your file, use filters to temporarily hide some of the data in your table so you can focus only the data you want to see. I have to create temporary filters to be able to look for the information and I'm going to take an example with this product resaltador. In my temporary filter I have to type the word so that it filters only the records that I have for that word. I have to be filtering for each search, removing it and creating another filter with other criteria that I need. Let's type for me for example and I have to come here to my filter to type the word for me and it brings me all the information that correspond to what I type in the filter. But that's very boring. What we are going to do is something automatic and faster. The technology is advanced and Excel already has many features that you can use. So we are going to make it faster. I'm going to do something like the same but with automatic filters to look for the information. Ok, first let me remove this filter that I have here and I'm going to write two very simple lines of code but don't worry, if you don't know how to develop here at the bottom you will find the two lines that I'm going to write you can copy them and paste into your Excel file very simple. You just have to do a couple of things that I'm going to show you here so that you can do it in a very simple way. Now we must have the developer function active. The developer tab isn't displayed by default but you can add it to the ribbon. On the file type go to option and then customize ribbon. You will see that on the right side you can customize this ribbon and all the options that are here are the same that you will see above in the menu bar. Under customize the ribbon and under main tab select the developer checkbox. Then the developer tab will appear now. Now that we have this option available, we are going to create an active filter. I have to know where I am going to place my text box and what I'm going to do in this case is add a new line and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Here I am going to place my text box and well since I'm here in the developer option I'm going to select insert and what I'm going to select is an active X 
control text box. Then click and drag to draw the text box. Now the text box will call automatically text box 1. Let's double click on the text box and it will automatically open another screen that is from Visual Basic to develop. But as I told you, don't worry, there are only two lines and you don't have to know how to develop, so you can copy them here. For the range, what we need to know is first the name of the worksheet. In this case, it's called products. Second, the range that is I3. Here we have it on the left side. And third, we also have to take into account the field from the left to right. Here are nine columns, so my column is nine. Okay. Now that I know everything that I have to consider, let's continue with the second line. Since we finish these two lines, I'm going back to my text box. Design mode must be the activated. Now I can type here. It automatically brings me everything that have papel. So I can look up the information that I surely really know. It will look for it immediately without having to create filters, write, return and remove the filter because now it does automatically. It will do all the searches that I want. I can write Pintura, for instance, and that's it. I can also use these other filters. It helps me in case that I want to search for even more specific information. It doesn't affect my automatic filter that I have here. It will only bring me what I type here and what I am changing here. Well, I hope this auto filter will help you. It's very good when you are looking for information and you don't want to be filtering and removing the filters. It will help you a lot. Thanks for being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.